The financial crash of 2008, also known as the global financial crisis, was a severe economic downturn that affected many countries around the world. It was caused by a combination of factors, including risky lending practices, deregulation of the financial industry, and the bursting of the housing bubble. One of the main culprits of the crisis was the subprime mortgage industry, which lent money to people with poor credit histories and low income levels. These loans were packaged together and sold as mortgage-backed securities, which were then bought by investors around the world. As the housing market began to decline, many borrowers were unable to make their mortgage payments, and the value of these securities plummeted. This led to huge losses for banks and other financial institutions that had invested heavily in these securities. Another contributing factor to the crisis was the deregulation of the financial industry, which allowed banks and other institutions to take on more risk. This was especially true for the derivatives market, which had grown enormously in the years leading up to the crisis. The derivatives market is a complex financial instrument that allows investors to bet on the future price of an asset, such as a stock or a commodity. But many of these derivatives were based on subprime mortgages, and as the housing market collapsed, the value of these derivatives also plummeted. The crisis was exacerbated by the fact that many banks and financial institutions were heavily interconnected, with losses at one institution affecting others. This led to a freeze in the credit markets, making it difficult for businesses and individuals to borrow money. The crisis had a profound impact on the global economy, leading to high levels of unemployment and widespread economic hardship. Governments around the world took steps to stabilize the financial system including bailouts of banks and other institutions that were deemed too big to fail. In the aftermath of the crisis, there were calls for increased regulation of the financial industry, with many people arguing that the deregulation of the industry had contributed to the crisis. The Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act was passed in 2010, which aimed to strengthen oversight of the financial industry and prevent future crises. Despite these efforts, many people still feel the effects of the 2008 financial crash to this day, with high levels of income inequality and economic instability in many parts of the world. The crisis serves as a reminder of the dangers of unregulated capitalism and the need for responsible economic policies that prioritize the needs of ordinary people over the interests of the wealthy and powerful.